States have been leading the fight against COVID-19 from the start of the pandemic. It is too late to impose a federal standard now that we have already developed systems and strategies that are tailored for our specific needs. End of her quote. Republican Congressman Chip Roy of Texas is in focus now. Congressman, first of all, what do you think about a Democrat weighing in from Kansas? What do you think about her comments? Well, I think it's pretty telling that you now got Democrat uh, state leaders who recognize the unconstitutional and unlawful nature of what President Biden is trying to do by forcing small businesses, businesses across the country to have to vaccinate their uh, employees. It's completely unconscionable. I'm very proud of Texas. The other 26 states, uh, the Texas Public Policy Foundation right here in Austin, Texas, where I used to work, my friend, lawyer Rob Henneke, uh, getting an administrative stay. This is critically important, and I'm glad that we're seeing the courts do what's in, uh, you know, in the interest of the American people and standing up and defending the Constitution of the United States. We'll see what happens today when DOJ has to reply, but it's clearly unconstitutional. There's no power in the Constitution for the President of the United States to just by edict say that employers have to vaccinate their employees across this country. Uh, and now we've got over 80 percent of adults who have had at least one shot. Uh, and this is a completely unnecessary. And, fr and frankly, it's actually encouraging people not to get vaccinated. Uh, it's a terrible policy and the Biden administration should be shut down uh, in trying to do it. So it's interesting because when you give those statistics, you really can understand why the lawmaker in Kansas said, well, the timing, it's just like, why yeah. are you doing it now? It's, it's way late into this process, 80 percent with at least one shot in their arm. All right, let's get to this. Yep. Government funded, I want to make that clear, PBS, government funded, is using Big Bird to push vaccines for children. Big Bird's account tweeted this out. I got the COVID-19 vaccine today. My wing is feeling a little sore, but it'll give my body an extra protective boost that keeps me and others healthy. Senator Ted Cruz responded this way. Government propaganda. For your five-year-old, one user wrote, holy cow, the indoctrination is real. Another joked, what's the treatment for myocarditis in birds? And now the president is getting in on the act, tweeting, good on you, big bird. Getting vaccinated is the best way to keep your whole neighborhood safe. Congressman, your thoughts. Well, you just saw this morning in the Wall Street Journal a story, and you referenced myocarditis, about the studies that are now underway about the harms that might befall our children and those uh, that might take the vaccine and have these heart uh, issues. And so it is incumbent upon the American people to want to defend their own families, take care of their families. And now you've got the government, in its infinite wisdom, coming in and trying to do propaganda to encourage kids to do superheroes. Pfizer actually ran a commercial calling kids superheroes for going and doing this and getting the vaccine. It's, it's absurd. This is why I publicly said I will take no money from Pfizer. I'm not going to take any money from a company mm. that's going to engage in that kind of propaganda. And frankly, I think Republicans, including the 13 who abandoned us on Friday and left us hanging in the wind, we need Republicans to stand up and say that we're not going to fund government on December 3rd with the continuing resolution if these mandates stay in place. So I'm calling on my colleagues to stand strong and not fund a government that's going to go do propaganda on our kids and put these unconstitutional mandates in place. Well, I am curious to know uh, what part of the government actually got involved with a six foot seven fake yellow bird telling children not to go to their pediatricians, their doctors with their parents and work this out, but do exactly what the fake bird did. I mean, I think that's a fair question. That's what we have all been telling each other. Check with your doctor, see if it's the right thing for your child. Wow. No, there's no question. And, and look, Harris, my, my father is 79. He just turned 79. My mom's 72. Uh, they've got the vaccine. That's great. And it's up to them and their doctors. But now you've got the government going around trying to use propaganda, trying to encourage people this way and have a mandate. Uh, it's, the un, it's an un-American uh, situation that an administration is trying to put that kind of power on the people. And the American people are waking up to what bureaucrats are doing every single day, hmm. undermining our freedoms and using uh, PBS and using uh, the long arm of government. And, and now I've got a constituent texting me just 30 seconds ago, right before we started, because now they're going to be forced out of a nursing home and hospital care because Medicare is bringing requirements that people have to be vaccinated if they're working in these nursing homes. We're losing care. We've got Border Patrol agents that we're, we're bleeding out. About half of our Border Patrol agents may leave. Law enforcement that are not on the job in New York. Firefighters that are missing. Why? because of a, an unnecessary virtue signaling mandate from a president who barely even knows where he is in the morning. 